Good morning, everyone. This is Tanya at Side Gig Crafts. We have got uh, Finish It Friday going on today, and we've got these tags on my desk. And they need to be finished up so that they can go in a journal. Um, I don't even remember making these, to be honest with you. I do not remember. These were made on paint chips, and I thought this was a fun idea to be able to create them on the paint chips so that... Um, yeah, they can be used in a journal. So um, I think we're gonna add some different elements. This is a guest check that's been tea dyed. I do remember making this one. This was fun, the little mixed media little project. But I think that it's not quite ready for a journal necessarily. And you know what I'm thinking as I'm looking at this, this would be fun to make a little notebook with, wouldn't it? maybe the cover, this could be the cover of it and make a notebook with it. So I'm gonna actually set this one aside. We're gonna do something with this later in a different video. I have an idea for that one, but let's finish these up. These are fun and just uh, do a little crafting today. I have um, several things on my desk that actually will probably go really well. So you know me, I like to find things on my desk that um, might work, including, I got, you guys remember I spilled the bead box the other day. I saw purple beads all over my desk rolling around, um, but we're getting somewhere with it. <laughs> we'll put them back in that box. I need to uh, finish up those, my um, chunky charms, and get them out too. So we're gonna just, um, I'm loving this on here. I'm kind of looking at it over here though. This one needs more. This is beautiful together. I think I'm using it on this one. We need to use that piece. That's so pretty. Okay, let's let's go there. I don't need to do too much to these because they're already gorgeous, but let's do it. You guys, I've been thinking, um, since we're here and talking, I, I can't, why can't I see the hole in that thing? Um, I need new glasses really bad. I need to, to make an appointment. Um, been thinking about, we hit the thousand mark for our subbies. So our family is growing and growing and growing and I am so excited about what that means for this channel and for the content that I'll be able to provide for you guys. And um, it just makes me so happy and so proud that you guys are, um, you know, coming back day after day. And I thank you so much for for that and for entrusting me with your time and, and spending that time with me. It's It's very special to me. And I feel like I've got some amazing friends out there in YouTube land and it means the world to me. So thank you for that. And all your wonderful comments, you guys, when you like, subscribe and um, leave comments, it tells the YouTube algorithm that there's something fun and important to do to check out over here. And it shows my videos to even more people. And then that's how we grow. So thank you for all that. You guys have all been helpful. And um, like I said, it means the world to me. So gives me the opportunity to meet new folks and to learn new things. And I like to come back and, and check out your channels too. So if you have a channel going on and you haven't seen me over there, leave me a comment below. I do wanna come check you out and give you just as much support. So um, sometimes it gets a little hard to recognize who has channels and who doesn't. So if you are one that I haven't met yet on your channel, please let me know and I will share, I don't like that. I will share um, the support and come see ya. So thank you once again. But I was thinking about what we can do to celebrate that and I'm just thinking we're gonna have a giveaway. Yep, we are gonna do it. And I think I like that, something like that. And then we can put a little um, Brad up there maybe. Um, so I think we're gonna do a giveaway. I've already started putting some things aside that I think would be fun to, to share with you guys. And, um, you know, after I was talking about the dripping on that glue gun the other day, now this one's dripping today. What is happening there? Um, so yeah, I've already been setting some prizes aside and thinking about it, thinking about how um, we could do something fun that everyone can get involved in. And I think I have an idea. So I will share that with you soon. I wanna put it together all in my head before I before I talk about it, but it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so I hope you guys will stick around and want to participate in that. 
Where is, here I go with my where is again. Um, I'm thinking through how I want to do this. And I think we're gonna make some paper buttons for this. Have you guys made paper buttons before? I know some of you have. Some of you have actually made me some gorgeous paper buttons and um, and shared them with me. I love that, that you used. I have a tutorial in my playlist to make paper buttons. If I figure out how to link that <laughs> in the video, I'll try to put it in there. Um, I have not figured that out yet. So there's still some things I'm learning on YouTube and the features and how to, to do. Um, I want this for the cover right here, this little blue spot, because there's blue in there. That's the perfect color. So I'm still learning how to um, do some of the, use some of the features in the YouTube studio. Oh, hi, Cashy. And that is my three-legged cat coming in to say hello. Yes, ma'am. She's been fed. She is happy. I like to let people know if they don't know Cash that she's a very vocal cat. And just because she's crying does not mean she's unhappy. She talks to me. She's now climbing in the basket over the fabric basket. That's her new her new um, place. She likes to, um, when I was in the other craft room, she found a place in the closet and she liked to sit in there and talk to me while I did videos. And now that I've moved in here, she has found a basket uh, of fabric <laughs> that um, she goes and sleeps in while I'm recording. So that's her new basket. That's her new spot until I disrupt it. And then she'll, I'm sure she'll find another one nearby. It's probably full of fur already. And she is my three-legged cat. She had four legs when I had her, when I got her. I got both of my cats from a nonprofit uh, no-kill shelter. In fact, I got my dog there too. I actually got three dogs, but I only have one left. The other's passed. Um, Cash and her brother are somewhere around 10 years. I lose track. I don't keep pet birthdays very well. Heck, I can hardly remember my kids' birthdays. <laughs> and that's a joke at the house. But, um... They are all around 10, 10 to 12 years. But Cash was in an accident several years ago and had to have one of her legs removed to save her. So um, she has three legs now and she's very spoiled. She's loved, very much loved. And she's very well taken care of. But she likes to talk. I actually asked the vet about it. Um, because it, sometimes it, it's, it's a little bit distracting and I just wanted to know, it's like, what is happening there? She said, oh, it's the Siamese in her. She laughed at me. She thought that was pretty funny because I didn't understand why is this cat going on and on? But it's the Siamese and the cat, they like to talk. So, okay. That was pretty cool though. There we go. Now we've got two holes for our little button. And I'm gonna put, I'm actually just gonna put some of this twine. This is waxed thread that I've got. It came with my all set um, for book binding. And I think I'm just gonna use a piece of this to put in my button. I'm gonna make it a little bigger than I need it because it'll be easier to handle. I'm just gonna put this through. I would put regular thread, which would work just fine, or embroidery floss, but I'd have to go get it. And um, this has more body to it, so I think it will hold up better. I'll just frayed that edge, so let's clean that up a little bit. Gretchen, what's happening? Now my dog is sneezing in the other room. I think that's a sneeze.
Here we go. There. There we go. I don't need a bow. I just want a little... We'll put that on there. Did I glue it down already? I did. Good. See how cute that looks? Actually, I think this is a little bit long. I'm going to cut this just a bit right there. That's better. And we'll just put a little bit of hot glue. Give it a little bit of dimension. See how cute that white thread is on there? It kind of pulls the white here. There, I think that's about ready. I, I'm kind of not digging these corners, though. I wonder if my... I think my corner chomper didn't work on these. Oh, it does. Perfect. And I think what I'm going to do then also is lightly... I think I'm going to lightly distress the outsides of it. Just lightly, because I love the white on there, and I don't really want to take away from that. Just very lightly. Oh, and I have a new sponge, so it will be light. This is my lightest color. Get a little, little ink on there. And we'll just, oh, that's a little darker than light. Okay, that's all right. worked out though. This side is a little lighter, which is great. That's what I was aiming for. This top part was a little darker than I intended, but it worked out. Most of the ink was gone by the time we got here. There we go. There's something fun. Cute, right? Okay. And then this side, somebody could write on this side. I don't want to cover the side. I think it's fun to have it as the paint chip. I like it. So there's one. What can we do next? And we made a button. <laughs> How about that? How about that? All right. Actually, I see a little pink lace here. Oh, well, I could add it to here onto one of these. Um, if I do, then this pocket is going to not be able to push all the way into... Um, a or this tag won't be able to push all the way into a pocket, but this would be a good stopping point. That's actually really cute. Let's do that. I feel like though, okay, so before I do, I feel like there needs to be something up here. And what my intuition is telling me is I'd really like to put some script up there in a brown color. And I have a favorite stamp. If I can't find it, then we're going to move on. There it is. That's my rule. If I can't find it, we're going to move on. It wasn't meant to be. So we're just going to kind of do that. And we're going to do this. And we're not going to worry if it doesn't all come out. It didn't come out at all. Um, so that's a problem. Well, there's a little bit on there, but happening there some of it should have shown a little better than that let's do it again actually I want to put um come here a little piece of paper what good are you if you don't even come off okay I want to cover this butterfly I don't want the print on now did I did I just mess that up by leaving it too long I hope not really having a hard time with this. That's okay though. We'll uh, go here as well. Anything? Nothing? Is my stamp just not working this morning? What's going on? It's a little bit. Okay. Um, it added something, but it's not a lot. Do, am I okay with that? Yeah, I think so. Add that on there. I think it's throwing me off that it doesn't have all the mixed media gesso and all that stuff. I think that's what's going on with me. Um, but this is going to be just great. So this end is better ruffled, so we're just going to kind of go straight across here. 
this lace. And then we will use up this tidbit of lace and get it off my desk. So we're finishing it up Friday. Yay! It's exactly what Fridays are meant to be. It's like the end of the week. Let's finish up our projects, move them out, move them out. And um, yeah, just close up, close up one chapter so we can move on fresh to the next. And I feel like we should just do a button theme, except that except that, that would take forever. So where is, I actually have my jar buttons here. Let's see if we can pull something cute out for this one. I'm actually seeing a fun button right here. And I would pour it out, except that I see it now and I'm gonna probably lose it if I try. So I'm actually seeing this one that would be really cute, just tucked in here like that, or below it, above it, here or up here probably would be even better. Let's see, this is gathered. I'm gonna pull this and see what it looks like without the gathering in it. Oh, super cute. I really like that. So I think what we're gonna do on this one is make a tab. We're gonna do it this way. And I say we all the time. I'm so used to talking in, in teams. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do here. I think what I was thinking when I made these, I was gonna sew around them and I still can. I think that's why I left them here is I was gonna sew them. I probably still will. And I think we'll just leave that kind of fluffy-ish up there and then glue the button. Because that gives somebody something to hold on to when they pull it out of the pocket. It will inevitably be in. There we go. But I think that... Yeah, I'm still liking it there. But... I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just do another paper one because it's flat. This is flat, but it's not that flat. What do you guys think about that? What do you think? Hmm, perhaps, perhaps I'm going to set it aside for now and think about it a minute because if I get that on there, I'm not gonna be able to get it off and I'm gonna need to put I want to I would want to put string through it again because I'm just gonna do it I like it we're gonna put a different color of string though I want this color this is also the wax thread for book binding and obviously you can use it for whatever you want um I have so much of it so we'll just kind of thread this through. It reminds me of, did you guys have, my grandmother used to have this toy when I was a child and it was um, like a sewing. It was like a to teach your kids how to sew. And it had a little wood, not little, it was a big wood button. And let me think a minute, this isn't how I wanted to do this. Um, It was like a, a wood needle and then it had a little rope on it and you would wind it through and sew things with it. It was, it was cute. We'll go this way, oops, we'll go this way and then it'll come up, cat a corner from the other one, this way. And then it'll look cute when we tie it there. Now it's across from each other. Um, but yeah, she had this toy and it would teach you how to, and it was all attached, kind of like a play school kind of toy. Um, but it was a learning toy, how to, how to sew. It was really, really fun. Well, as I got older, it wasn't fun. Then it was just like, how boring is that? But by then I could actually, you know, sew. Because I got, I got the idea from the toy. So that was pretty cool. But that's what this reminds me of when I use the 
the thread there. I think that's really cute, even though it's gonna be a little bit bulky, but that's all right. Um, I think that's darling. And it's simple, you know? And this one can be written on on the back or on the front. Something could be added there too. So I like that a lot. We're gonna go ahead and just go around the edges. Doesn't need much, just a little bit of a touch. Just to add a final touch there. There, I think that's lovely. Okay, there's two, we're done with those. Now let's look at, that one already had rounded corners. Let's look at the other one, the same shape as that one. I don't know, let's see, I do have more lace and I actually have blue, which coordinates well with that. I have this big old piece here. Um, I could find some other colors actually in my box. Let's see if my box has something. I have this very special box here sitting in my windowsill from my sister. She and mom had gone to, um, had gotten a lot of lace and beautiful things together for me at one point. And I still have this box sitting here. I absolutely love this trim. It's one of my very favorites out of all the ones she sent or of all the ones that I have. I said this ugly. <laughs> but instead of cutting it, we'll just put it aside. I kind of like that one there, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not solid on that one. These are fun. I don't want to do something too close to the edge because then I can't put it in a pocket. This is always pretty. I could do something with this. Maybe up here. Um, let's see what else is in here. I'm open to that. I've got pink as well. I could do pink. I could use a piece of this for the tab. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. I could use another piece of this for the tab and then put this on there, like part ways. I like that. Kind of reminiscent of this one. Just different colors. I like that. I don't know if I want pink on the top though if I use the blue here. I think it would need to be the same lace. I could just use a meat, uh, ooh, wait a minute, let's put these together. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, there's that. Um, I do want to put the stamp on here if it will allow me to do that. Since it's being a little bit finicky today. Let's see if I can get some of it on there. Guys, Chloe put up a wind chime. She actually convinced me to buy a wind chime years ago, and then it was so big, I couldn't find a place to hang it. And I started thinking the neighbor might not like that. It's gonna be noisy. And um, we never hung it in the yard. And she's been on a clean up the yard kick this last week or so, and doing an amazing job, might I add. And she hung that wind chime in the tree and I'm so glad she did. I keep hearing it and it's just, it's such a beautiful sound. I'm so glad she hung it. It's been sitting in my shed for literally years because I just never figured out where to hang it. And she just did it. She just put it in a tree. I was like, okay, well, let's see how it goes. And it's just, I'm really glad she did. it's got such a beautiful sound to it I keep hearing it I don't I doubt that you guys can hear it but um, it's really nice I'll just put this straight across right here we'll even let that show above just a little there we go 
One of the tricks I've learned for gluing this down is pull it tight as you can and it'll go in a straight line. And if you hold it down at the ends, you don't get it all gluey. It doesn't soak up through the lace, which is nice. Because nobody wants all that glue everywhere, right? We want it to look as fresh and clean as we can, even when we're doing grungy. We want it to look grungy, not trashy. <laughs> Let's do the front. Should we just put this one up here on top? That's hanging, that paper's hanging over just a bit. It's a little windy out there today. That's why I was talking about the wind chime. Um, it's overcast and windy. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be today, but I'm assuming windy and overcast. We're supposed to have the possibility of some rain today. It looks very likely. I'll be inside at work. <laughs> Should we put some of this over that too? Like it was meant to be. I just leave this off? I think I'll leave it off and find a blue button. That's what we'll do. Okay, let's see if we can find a blue button quick. I actually see the perfect one way down here, as it always works out. Way down in there. Okay, perfect button if I can bring it up there. Oh, I dropped it. It's like a, you know, it's like an arcade game. You get in there, you find it, you grab it, you drop it. No prize. There, that one's perfect. Look at that. How great is that? Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the thread. Um, This time I'm gonna use a little bit different color. This one's a lighter color. I guess I could have used that darker color. It would work just fine, but that's okay. I don't think there's a front to this. I think it's all the same. Now I'm thinking I, sh excuse me, should have just used a regular button on that first one, but that's okay. So we're just doing kind of a craft with me kind of thing, finishing things up, just chatting a bit today. And I'll go ahead and distress this one a little bit as well. Now these can be added into your journals with a with a clip or a pocket or however I should have done the backs too huh not that it will show too much but all right so there's that one we've got two that are very similar probably go in the same journal that's what I'm thinking and we've got two more and these are different but these would be very similar as well and could possibly go into a same journal as well so I, since I have this little piece left, I think I'm just going to use this for the tabs for both of these. And then we can be done with this lace. Use it up. And just cut this in half. Obviously these were paint chips as well. And when 
when I actually put them in a journal, I may actually add more. I may add more to them. It's it's hard to say, you know, when it's time time to actually use them, you'll know a little bit more what they need or what they're lacking for the vision of the journal that it goes into or the project that it goes into. If it's maybe maybe it's not for a journal. feel like these though may need like a sentiment or something there's they're definitely missing something we need we do need buttons because we're going to make them kind of the same way so let's see what we've got we definitely have bright pink buttons and I actually see two exactly like right here in my jar right here I don't know if you guys can see this or not but I've got two right here there's one I think they're exactly alike anyway. I can only see the backs of them. Come on, Mr. Button, Missy Button, Little Button, whoever you are. Oh, they might not be the, exactly the same. Um, I didn't realize I had a design on it. They're similar. Ooh, I like this one better. Do I put a pattern one? It's cute. Do I like the pattern? I'm not certain. Um, I've got several of those. I wonder where they came from. That one doesn't have a pattern on it either. I, th I don't think I want the pattern. I think it's, I like this one, but I don't care for it on this one. Maybe we'll do that. They don't have to be the same. I think that's what we'll do. <coughs> Excuse me, one with the pattern and one without. That works for me. Not too much thought needed. Let's go with this lighter color again. Okay. So we used up some buttons today. We used up some lace. We finished up these tags so we can take them off the desk and go put them in the finished, ready to be used box. One of these days I'll show you guys that box. I started a um, little uh, way to kind of file and put these things aside that are ready to be used so that I can find them easy instead of having them all over the craft room. And that way I can just pull that box out when I'm ready to make a journal and have, have things on hand. So that has worked out really nicely for me lately. So I'm hoping to continue that process and that, um, that practice. we go and I didn't feel the need to um to stamp these I think these would probably be used more likely in my swap group or or a journal that's going to be bright and sure actually these would be perfect for oh that's why I didn't finish it um This journal that I just started is bright and pink. These might work well for that. Maybe I've got a stack of stuff for that project too sitting here. So I should probably put these aside for that one. Sometimes it just doesn't want to cut through these corners, but at least it leaves a mark so that I can find it and use my scissors. This poor cutter has been a trooper. Okay. 
Now, in that journal, though, I'm not distressing anything, or I haven't distressed anything, so I don't think I'm going to distress these. I'm going to leave these as they are, because these are some of the things that I have to go in that journal. As you can see, it's very bright, very cheerful, no grunge. Um, I have this little over the over the page tuck, and I did not grunge this one up. And then I have the journal itself. So these are, this is kind of the theme I'm kind of going for here. Actually, it kind of is a little bit grungy, but this one's not. So I'm gonna leave it like that and put those aside for this journal. Um, so as you can see, I am building up, I have no pages in here, but I'm building up the things that can go inside of it. So that's exciting. Um, so we can get that going pretty quick here. And for now, you guys, I think that's it. That's all I had that I needed to finish up. These are ready and completed. I've got those other two I just put away and we're good to go. I think they turned out super cute. I hope you think so too. Um, I wanna encourage you to get out your unfinished projects and work on them today. Make something happy, make something fun and just feel good about it. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and the like button. Leave me a comment below. Tell me which one's your favorite and what you want to do. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.